Yo, what is up guys, it's the Flame here, bringing back in the TV, ladies and gentlemen, and in today's video, I want to do a review over PlayStation's E3. Now, PlayStation, first off, murdered, it absolutely slaughtered E3 in the best sense possible. Uh, they did reveal more details about the VR, like when it's coming, but they also revealed Last Guardian, more Final Fantasy, a bunch of stuff. Um, they did have a really small time slot to showcase this in, and then they're going to be doing more of the, I believe it's called Livecast. They're going to be doing that tomorrow, and then I think they're doing a day after tomorrow as well. Uh, I do believe it is 6 p.m., so make sure to go check it out. It'll be 6 p.m. Eastern, no, uh, Pacific time. Yeah, it's Pacific time that I think it starts at 6 p.m. So, I hope they show a lot more stuff. They didn't show No Man's Sky, but one of the biggest things they revealed was uh god of war and i have not been a big god of war fan i played them just because i liked you know playstation and sony so i decided to go and give them a try i still really loved it it's on my ps3 i haven't really gone back to it though because i think i might have had to sell it to buy like last of us or something like that and it was kind of a bummer so i hope i get the remastered editions i do believe they're there for ps4 i hope i can only like i can get them back and play them again because the new God of War that's released looks really, really, really cool. It looks like Kratos had a uh, son and stuff. So that's one of the biggest E3 highlights uh, on PlayStation's channel. They also have a bunch of other things, too, on PlayStation's YouTube channel. They have The Last Guardian. They showed more about that. And it was a release date. A lot of October things. There's Days Gone. There's the Hideo Kojima project, which is actually called... Uh, if I can find it right now, which it's not popping up. Uh, it had this really odd title to it. I will give you that. Days Gone is... I don't know. It's weird. Um, it was very, very, very good, though. Uh, the, the one that Hideo Kojima is now starting up has Norman Reedus in it. Oh, everybody was freaking out, because I think we all, deep in our mind, knew that Silent Hill was cancelled. But Silent Hill... That's kind of what it looked like it was happening. It was really weird and cryptic, though. Like, they didn't show a whole lot about it, which is kind of confusing. Maybe we could see more about it tomorrow. There's going to be a bunch more things revealed. We also got to see uh, Infinite Warfare a little bit more. We got to see Modern Warfare Remastered a little bit more. Once again, we still have, like, two days left of coverage after this day. So, just be ready. Um, I also showed... Farpoint, which was kind of like a weird VR game that looks like you're in Mars, and it's interesting. They showed more about uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, and they showed... I was really excited. I was screaming because Insomniac, uh, it just it popped up first, and then it's in Marvel, and I was like, oh, never mind. Like, I was really like, oh my god, like freaking out so much because Insomniac, uh, they made a few games I like, like Ratchet and Clank. They also made Resistance, and I thought that's how it was at first, and then they showed all of a sudden Spider-Man. And I really don't care for superheroes that much. I love Deadpool. I would not play any games related to superheroes, though, unless it was, like, Lego uh, Lego Marvel or something like that. Some along those lines, you know, Avengers. So it's kind of meh. Uh, Detroit Become Human, they showcase that, too. That looks really cool. They still don't have a whole lot about that. Uh, last E3, I do believe, they had showcased a trailer that had actually showed more stuff and it had i can't remember the, uh the actor's name but it looks like she was from beyond two souls but it was just like really familiar character faces and now it's it's kind of i don't know they're just kind of formulating a plot we don't exactly know what the plot is but they're formulating it so um the norman Reedus one Reedus, uh Reedus one i still can't quite find which is kind of a bummer Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which is another game that can be played all throughout VR, I do believe. There's a demo for it. I haven't found it yet, so maybe I can go and play that whenever the time does come for that. Let's see here. Uh, Crash Bandicoot's going to be revised. I was never a fan of Crash Bandicoot because I was never really born that era to play a bunch of Crash Bandicoot games. But I would love to go and test it out and see how they look. Uh, Final Fantasy, not a big fan of that. But still, I know a bunch of other people are, so I'm covering it as of this moment because it's, you know, it's it's pretty big. Uh, I think my friend is pre-ordering it, so I might be able to test it. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. I was really excited for that because Lego Star Wars is bae. Batman Arkham VR. They didn't show a whole lot about that. They just showed, like, uh, the cowl, the mask, and they just wrote, like, hashtag wear the cowl. So I guess you can go and act as Batman. 
in a VR kind of fighting thing? I don't know. It's it's weird. Apparently, Doom was also supposed to be in VR. They showed for Bethesda, like, their conference. They just showed a bunch of stuff that's going to be in VR, they had said. Like, Fallout 4 was one of them as well. Doom's a little bit scarier because it's more, like, fast-paced. So, I don't want to be throwing up and crying and shooting people at the same time. Uh... And then I think that's pretty much all of the stuff they had covered within that small amount of time. Let's see here. On their shop, they have one... Well, not on the shop. On the channel, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Basically, thirteen games they had shown here. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. There's a lot of small VR titles they had mentioned. But once again, the live cast will be going on tomorrow. So make sure to go stay in tune with that. This has been the review for E3 2016 for PlayStation. Power to the players, everybody. Peace out. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, there will be a, a list of trailers. This will be included within a playlist. I do believe it will be recapping all of E3 and what's been happening, along with like Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon stuff. I'm still trying to upload a bunch of trailers. It's very, very, very slow on my, uh, my computer. But I'm still going to get it out nonetheless. I'll probably be doing this all the way till maybe 3 or 4 in the morning. So, I don't know. We'll see. Crazy week! But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's the Flame. And I'm out. Thanks for watching.